Isabel Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. You know, I've been making a vision board since 2012. And it's amazing to see the dreams on my board come to pass in my life. And that's what I want for you for 2020. In fact, for my subscribers this week, I'm giving away my book to show you how to make your vision board. It'll be everything you need from start to finish. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to get the book. I put a pin on the world map to go to Moscow, Russia. And here I am in Red Square in Moscow, Russia, speaking at a women's conference and sightseeing the Kremlin. Can't you tell by the furry hats and furry coats? <laughs> then I put on my vision board, I wanted to drive a white Porsche Cayenne. So I put a photo on my vision board right here. Well, here I am driving my beautiful white Porsche Cayenne. Then I put a photo that I wanted to speak for the Amway Corporation. Now, I'm not an Amway. I think it's an incredible company, but I just put a photo on my vision board, you know, speaking at their summit. Well, here I am walking on stage to speak to 14,000 entrepreneurs with Amway, which I've done many times now. Then I put a picture on here that I wanted to speak at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. So I cut out the logo and I put it on my vision board, a picture of Joel and Victoria Osteen. Well, here I am speaking at Joel and Victoria Osteen's Women's Conference at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas. Well, I put a photo that I wanted to meet Oprah Winfrey. I mean, who doesn't have this on their vision board? I even had a picture of her magazine cover on my vision board for years. Well, here I am getting a selfie with Oprah Winfrey. I could go on and on, but when you see your dreams come to pass one after another, you're convinced in the power of having a clear vision and keeping it before your eyes to manifest your dreams. So every year I make a vision board. That's why I wrote a whole book about how to make vision boards and we get testimonies every day from people checking off their dreams. That's why, you know, with the holidays coming up, I'm giving it away this week to my subscribers. Stay tuned on how to get this free book, but don't go another year without getting clear on where you want your life to go. So here's the thing. We are trained to frame our past, you know, by displaying pictures of what we've already done and accomplished. But see, your vision board is just the opposite. You're literally framing your future before it ever happens. And this is the fun part. You know, God's word says, whatever a man thinks in his heart, so shall he become. So what you think about, you bring about. Well, when you surround yourself with images of your vision, it causes your dream to just come alive on the inside of you. And it adds clarity to your dreams by simply seeing them. So if you've ever made a vision board and gotten results, comment below, because I'd love to hear your experience. Let me answer the question. What goes on your vision board? Now, personally, before I ever start making the board, I think. You know, Henry Ford is the one who said, thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. But honestly, I just sit with a notebook and a pen and I just write. Like I truly think about what do I want in life? I imagine my life five years from right now or 10 years from now, what do I want to have achieved? Stephen Covey says, begin with the end in mind, right? And this might include like places I wanna travel, things like material possessions I wanna have, accomplishments I want to achieve, people I wanna meet or work with, financial goals, how much money do I wanna save over the next five years or 10 years? These are big dreams and aspirations that may or may not take a while. And then what I like to do, and it works every year, is I think about what I want to accomplish in the coming year, like over the next 12 months in terms of my goals. Now keep in mind, goals are simply dreams with deadlines. Now I always do this. I imagine that it's December 31st of the following year, 12 months away, and I pretend it's New Year's Eve and I'm with my friends, I'm with my husband, my family, with my little party hat on, and I just say, this has been the most amazing year of my life. Then I ask myself, what would need to happen for me to say that? Then I write my top 10 goals for the year. So in my notebook, I have my big dreams that may take longer than 12 months. And then I have my top 10 goals that I am aiming to accomplish in the new year. 
Now I explain in much more detail how to set goals in my book, Dream It, Pin It, Live It, which I'm giving away free this week. So make sure you click the link to get your book and get started. So let's answer. How do you make your vision board? This is what I like to do. You search for images. You know, you've got this blank slate and you just start searching for images. You could look through magazines, you could go online, which I normally do. You search for pictures and visual re representations that match your personal dreams and goals. And it's so powerful to see your dreams as if they're already true. I've even chopped off people's heads and put my head on top so I could truly see myself living that dream. So I always get these necessities together and just sit in the floor and have fun making my vision board. So you're gonna need pictures. Like I said, you can look through magazines, you can get postcards, brochures, go online, research images. You'll have fun researching these things to match your dreams and goals and be as creative as you want. You can look through magazines and cut out photos. You can go online and you know search through all different things that match your dreams. You can superimpose yourself in an image or cut your photos and tape them together like I did with John Maxwell. <laughs> Here's my fake photo that was on my vision board saying I speak at events with John Maxwell. Here's the real photo speaking at events with John Maxwell. It's amazing. Then you're gonna need push pins or some glue, or you can even use a glue gun. And you can decide which works best for you. I use push pins so I can remove the goals once I achieve them and it doesn't leave a messy finish, but use whatever you want. You're also gonna need scissors so you can cut out your images. You're also gonna need some pens, markers, or stencil letters. See, the fun thing about designing a vision board is that it's as unique as you are. So make it your own style. You know, some people make boards that could be sold at an art auction. They're incredible. Some people just tack seven photos on a poster board and they're done. It's okay. Just don't allow the pressure of making it perfect stop you from ever doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be done and appeal to you. And remember, most people don't even know what they want, much less take the time to visualize their dreams and keep it before their eyes. You are miles ahead of the rest of the world in simply following through with this project. You know, I think it's a good idea to update your vision board each year. I always make a new vision board for the new year. And when you achieve your goals, you can place them in your dream book as, or your vision book as a reminder that dreams do come true. And have fun designing your vision board. This is your future and you get to frame it. So look for items that inspire you, that speak to you, that represent where you wanna go in life. Look for phrases, you know, it could be a photo or a headline that says, New York Times bestseller or top sales winner or Grammy winner. So this is how I make my vision board. What I like to do is I number my top 10 goals and match a photo to each goal. Then I surround the board with my big dreams that don't necessarily have a timeline attached to them. You know, those big aspirations that could take a while. And you know, once I'm done, I feel so prepared I'm focused, I'm clear on what I want to achieve in the new year, and I don't think it's a coincidence that I keep checking them off. Now let me tell you this, one very important point I must tell you is, oh and real quick, comment below one of your big goals for 2020 because I would love to hear what you're aiming towards. Okay, here's my point. After you design your vision board, it is vitally important that you keep these images in front of you consistently. This is not something you do on, you know, December or January 1st and you never go back to look at it again until December 31st just to see if anything magically appeared. No, your mind moves toward the dominating images you keep before your eyes. The key words that you keep before your eyes. So this was actually discovered in goal setting as the number one reason that goals go unachieved is out of sight, out of mind. So remember, when the vision is clear, the results will appear. Now let me know in the comments if you're gonna make a vision board for 2020. And make sure you get your free copy of my book, Dream It, Pin It, Live It, How to Make Vision Boards Work For You. You just pay the shipping, I'll pay for the printing. 
Click the link in the description and get started on your dreams today. Oh, and it also includes a whole chapter on how to host a vision board party. You're gonna love it. So have fun making your vision board and don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, click below to subscribe to my channel or you can click one of the two videos to continue watching more motivational content. And thanks for watching and hey, remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.